Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out in the cold, cold day to join us for this wonderful little program. Through narration and the actions of our youth, we will share with you the story of the wise men. Not the one that you normally think of, because with Christmas we have the nativity and the wise men are already there. But they weren't already there when Jesus was a baby. So this is the story from the Bible. So thank you again. I opened it. God wanted the people to know about the coming of Christ to the earth. The priests should have taught the people to look for the Savior, but they themselves did not know his coming. So God sent angels to tell the shepherds that Christ was born and where they might find him. Jews to know that Christ had come. In a country far to the east were wise men who had studied the prophecies concerning the Messiah and who believed that his coming was near. The Jews called these men heathen, but they were not idolaters. They were honest men who wanted to know the truth and to do the will of God. God looks upon the heart and he knew that these men could be trusted. They were in a better condition to receive light from heaven than were the Jewish priests who were full of selfishness and pride. These wise men were philosophers. They had studied the handiwork of God in nature and had learned to love him there. They had studied the stars and knew their movements. They loved to watch the heavenly bodies in their nightly march. If a new star should be seen, they would welcome its appearance as a great event. On that night, when the angels came to the shepherds of Bethlehem, the wise men had noticed a strange light in the sky. <clears throat> it was the glory which surrounded the angel host. When this light faded away, they had seen in the heavens what looked like a new star. At once, thought, they thought of the prophecy which says, There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise down Israel. In verse 24, 17. Was the star a sign that the Messiah had come? They determined to follow it and see where it would lead them. It led them into Judea. But when they came near, near to Jerusalem, the star grew so dim that they could not follow it. Supposing that the Jews could at once guide them to the Savior, the wise men went into Jerusalem and said, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus is written by the prophet Matthew 2, 2 through 5. Herod did not like to hear of a king who might someday take his throne, so he took the wise men by themselves and asked when they first saw the star. Then he sent the wise men by themselves and asked when they first saw the star. And he said them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, and that I may come and worship him also. When the wise men heard this, they started again on their journey. And lo, the star, which 
which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew 2, 6 through 11. The most precious things they had, the wise men brought to the Savior. And this is an example for us. Many give presents to their earthly family and friends, but give nothing to the heavenly friend who has given them every blessing. To Christ we should bring the best of all we have, our time, money, and all. We can give to Jesus by giving comfort to the sick and poor, and to teach people about the Savior. These are the best gifts for Jesus and the ones he blessed. Herod had not been honest in saying that he wanted to go and worship Jesus. He feared that the Savior would grow up to be a king and take his kingdom from him. He wanted to find the child so that he might have him put to death. So why did God want the wise men to be a part of our Christmas story? Why were they looking for a king of the Jews? And when they found a small child, in what no doubt was a modest, small home, how did they know he was the one they were looking for? Were they sent to save Jesus from Herod? And were the costly presents that they brought and gave to Jesus used for the expenses of that journey in the exile to Egypt? Did God use the wise men to spread the word of the Messiah's birth far and wide on their journey home to plant the seed for the future ministry of the disciples? Perhaps all of the above. This much we do know. The Magi were men who read and believed God's word, who sought Jesus, who recognized the worth of Christ, and who humbled themselves to worship Jesus and obeyed God rather than man. They truly were wise men. May we too be wise like them. Can I have all the cast come back up front? We learned a long time ago memorization was not a good idea. This is a really fun way for the kids to all help out and have to gentlemen, ladies, my dear, come up here. Seth, come on up here. So we thank you all. We hope that the message of the wise men will live on in your hearts through the whole year. And may you be messengers of God, too. Thank you all.